Hey everyone, Dr. Shook here. Hope you're doing well today. In today's video, I want to talk about something that you may have experienced. A lot of people that follow me have autoimmune conditions and they've tried different dietary strategies. Uh, if you haven't, that's okay. You can, you can learn something here if you do decide to take this approach. But if you've ever gone on you know, a, an autoimmune protocol, whether that's by yourself or with a practitioner, and for example, like you tried an autoimmune paleo diet, which is, a, which is typically a good dietary approach. It's a great overall dietary strategy anyway, but it removes a lot of the commonly inflammatory uh, food triggers and it in increases food quality in the majority of cases, which are all positives. But if you've ever done that and then you started to feel better, you know, maybe your symptoms improved and then after a period of time, could be a month, uh, could be, you know, more or less, you might start to regress or you hit a plateau and you're like, well, why am I not improving? And a lot of times it will make people think they need to do something else, like maybe start a detoxification protocol or something along those lines. And in most cases, that's not what's happening. In, in most cases, if we if you think about this first from the model that I encourage everyone to use when you're thinking about your autoimmunity, what I think is the leading edge, which is the environmentally induced model of autoimmunity. There are three major components. Number one, they're the triggers. So food proteins, pathogens, and chemicals. Number two, the barrier systems, the intestinal barrier, the blood-brain barrier, any of the compromised barrier systems are relevant here. And then the third thing is immune system regulation. So can the immune system produce inflammation when it needs to? Can it resolve that inflammation when the threat is over? So those are the key, the key components. Well, when you go on these diets, you typically address the first two. You remove the triggers, at least some of the triggers, and you support the, the barrier systems. So, so you have improvement. But the third component, the immune regulation, is often not addressed. And what will tend to happen is you, uh, you will start to run out of the vitamins, the minerals, the uh, amino acids or proteins, the essential fats that you need for the body to rebuild and to properly regulate itself, the immune system to regulate. So in a lot of cases, this just means that you need to support the system more. You need to focus on repletion of these key ingredients, these vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, so that you can uh, better establish that immune regulatory function that you may have caused some uh, gaps in with the elimination diet and some of the things that you're doing, which is normal. So it doesn't always mean you need to, to follow a detoxification protocol or something. You might just need to replete the system. But if you have questions, if you need help, just check the link in the bio for telemedicine information with me and for free resources. But I hope this helps. Hope you all have a great day. Thanks.